TR Rehab out in the garden on such a beautiful morning. I thought I'd give you guys an update on my Navy Beans experiment three weeks after the deer got a hold of them. I grow all of my plants from seeds and pretty much this is how I start my morning. So rather than stress out over the lost time, I just started over with new seeds. And this gave me the opportunity to test out my seedling cages because the insects will attack your seedlings as soon as they come out the ground. And I think this is one of the best things that I've learned in my whole experience in gardening in the last year. Now this is my first season with an edible garden and I'm learning as I go. And with these navy beans, I didn't see any videos on YouTube of anybody growing navy beans other than one time-lapse video. So if anybody has any useful information on navy beans, please feel free to drop me a message in the comment section below. The seedlings have been growing for about three weeks and they're looking really good. With the protective cage around it, they can focus all their energy on growing as opposed to fighting off insects. Once they start touching the walls of the cage, it's time for them to start fending for themselves. To deter the deer from coming back and having another free meal, I ended up going to the store and buying some ivory soap and I attached it to some of my stakes that the vines are running up. And uh, I'm told that the smell being not natural to nature kind of repels the deer and they'll kind of avoid the area. So, so far, so good. One of my favorite meals is baked beans, and I'm not even embarrassed to say that I never knew the brown baked beans are actually white navy beans. To the best of my understanding, I think you're supposed to let them dry out on the vines. And again, this is an experiment for me, so I'm not even gonna say that I know what I'm doing, but at this point, it looks like everything's going pretty well. From what I've gathered, there seems to be four stages that the plant goes through. The flowers start off a beautiful yellow and then they turn white. And then it goes to a state where it looks sort of like a green bean. And then the green bean turns white. And this is where I'm trying to find that sweet spot as to the right time to pick when it's turning from the white stage, going over to a crispy brown, like ripe on the vine stage. Here you see the pods kind of brown and crispy. And over here to the left side, you have another pod that's barely coming out of the green stage, but it's almost white. And you can see the beans themselves are kind of greenish color also. I'm gonna pick these things just to kind of take them inside, split them open from the pod and see just how much I can come up with out of these five plants over here in the pot. Now the plants in the pots are kind of crowded, so I don't expect them to yield as much as the plants over in the raised beds but at least it gives me a good indicator as to what to expect and how to go about harvesting the ones over in the raised bed after I do this little experiment over here. Here's one that's really dry and you can hear how crisp it sounds as I crack it open. Um, it looks really good on the inside and looks just like the beans that I purchased from Sprouts and used as seeds. Here's one that's right between the brown and the white stage and looks like they came out pretty good as well. I called this one the uh, French fry color and looks like the ones that are bright golden crisp looks to be the ones that are the best in terms of uh, being on the vine too long or not being ready to pick yet. So in conclusion, I'm gonna say this experiment is a success thus far and I'm so looking forward to having that first big bowl of nice brown baked beans. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thanks for watching TR Rehab.